This patient has rheumatoid arthritis with a large knee effusion. For medial approach to the knee joint, the patient is lying supine with the knee extended. Identify the superior and inferior poles of the patella. The ejection point is halfway between them in the medial parapatellar groove. Tilt the patella by applying pressure on the lateral side and mark the injection point using a retractable pen in the medial space. The most common mistake is going too high and bouncing the underside of the patella. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site of injection and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using providing solution and then following that with alcohol. Allow the area to dry a bit and then use local anesthetic. I will apply 2% xylocaine using a 25 gauge needle into the subcutaneous tissue and under the skin, forming a bit of a bleb. Wait a couple minutes for this to take effect. Here I have a 30 ml syringe with a 21 gauge 1.5 inch needle. I advance the needle aiming laterally with the syringe held horizontally. You will feel a give as the needle breaches the joint capsule. Aspirate as much fluid as possible. It is useful to gradually release and apply pressure. Applying too much negative pressure can cause tissue to adhere to the tip of the needle and stop the flow of fluid. You could apply some pressure on the knee as well to help the fluid escape. I am massaging the knee a bit to see if I can get any additional fluid. I got just about 22 mils. Leaving the needle in, in place, you can switch syringes. Here I am injecting a mixture of 60 mg of Depometrol with 2% xylocaine made up to a volume of 5 ml. It should go in freely. Immediately apply the safety mechanism on withdrawing the needle.
finish off by drawing the side and then apply a bandage.